morning my dear students i am subramaniam department of social science now i am going to take the topic economics unit 5 lesson industrial clusters in tamil nadu first we see some important gk questions related to the topic okay students first one the detroit of asia is chennai the detroit of asia is chennai pump sets and motors are produced mostly in tamil nadu coimbatore pump sets and motors are produced mostly in tamil nadu coimbatore which city is known as gateway of tamil nadu which city is known as gateway of tamil nadu tootukurin dance which are an essential aspect of nation's development which are an essential aspect of nation's development industry which city is famous for knitwear product which city is famous for knitwear product trupur okay students now we discuss topic in the last class we learnt about importance of industrialization what benefits does industrialization bring to an economy type of industries now we discuss about industrial clusters how do clusters originate historical development of industrialization in tamil nadu industrialization in the colonial period post independence to 1990 the industrial clusters okay students the industrial clusters are group of firm in defined geographical area that share common markets technologies and skill requirement it is known as the industrial clusters industrial clusters means group of firm in a defined geographical area that share common markets technologies and skill requirement the advantage of the industrial clusters or district was first observed by the famous economist albert marshall who observed who was first observed by the industrial clusters albert marshall when he tried to understand the working of clusters of small firm in the metal working and textile region in england while the notion of an industrial district was developed by marshall it was only after the success of small firm in italy in the 1980 layer and the policy makers in developing countries the policy makers in developing countries like india began to promote them activity as they realized that there are several several such small firm clusters in the country the following are the chief characteristic of a successful clusters the following are the chief characteristic of a successful clusters uh, geographical proximity of geographical proximity of small and medium enterprises second one the sectoral specialization third one close interior firm collaboration fourth one the inter firm competition based on the innovation next one a socio cultural identity which facilitate trust another one multi skilled workforce and active self help organization supportive regional and municipal government these uh, these are 
the sheep characteristic of a successful cluster the firm are therefore expected to collaborate and compete with one another at the same time by collaborating they can expand their capacity and also learn from one another through the competition they are forced to be forced to become more efficient okay next getting how to clusters originate the clusters may arise due to many factors the clusters may arise due to many factors certain clusters evolve over a long time in history when artisans settle in one locality and evolve over centuries okay students i mean the clusters may arise due to many factors certain clusters evolve over a long time in history when artisans settle in one locality and evolve over centuries the handloom weaving clusters are one example of this development in some sectors when large firm is established a clusters of firm may emerge to take care of its inputs and service requirement at time the government may decide to encourage manufacturing using raw materials from a region which may also lead the emergence of clusters the clusters originated naturally and government support understand the clusters originated the natural and the government support okay next one the historical development of industrialization in tamil nadu there is the lot of evidence for presence of industrial activities such as textile and chip building iron steel making and pottery in the pre colonial tamil nadu i mean in historical development of industrialization in tamil nadu there is lot of evidence for presence of industrial activities such as textiles ship building iron and steel making and pottery in pre colonial tamil nadu given the vast coast line the region has involved in trade with both south east asia and west asia for several centuries the colonial policy also the contributed to the decline of the handloom weaving industry which policy declined the handloom weaving industry the colonial policy the colonial policy contributed to the decline of the handloom weaving industry due to the competition from machine made imports from england but some but some industries also developed during the colonial period another one the industrialization in the colonial period industrialization in the colonial period there are two set of factors that have contributed to the process two set of factors that have contributed to the process the introduction of cotton cultivation in western and southern tamil nadu by the colonial government led to the emergence of large scale textile sectors in these parts i mean the introduction of cotton cultivation in western and southern tamil nadu by the by the colonial government led to the emergence of a large scale textile sectors in these parts okay second increase in trade during this period led to the industrial development around two of the most active port in the region chennai and tootukreen i mean increase in trade 
ड्यूरिंग दिस कॉलोनियल पीरियड इन द एरिया ऑफ चेन्नई एंड टूटुकुडी पोर्ट नेक्स्ट है मैच फैक्ट्रीज टू एमर्ज ड्यूरिंग दि कालनियल पीरियड इन दि शिवकाशी रीजियन विच फैक्ट्री एस्टाब्ली इन दि कालनियल पीरियड मैच फैक्ट्री टू एमर्ज इन दि शिवकाशी रीजियन लैटर दि शिवकाशी बिकेम ए मैजर सेन्टर फार फयर वर्स प्डक्शन अंड प्रिंटिंग Which city later became a major center for firework production and printing? Shivakasi. Fourth related activity to contribute to the growth of region. Leather production was also taking place in Dindigal, Vellore, and Ambur area. Where is located leather production factories? Dindigal, Vellore, and Ambur area. In Western Tamil Nadu, the emergence of textile industries also led to demand and starting of textile machinery industries in the region. This textile machinery industry turn led to the rise of number of small workshops for. repair and producer of machinery components the textile machinery industry in turn led to the rise of number of small workshops for repairs and producer of machinery components another major development in the western region is the introduction of Electricity from hydro electricity power in 1930. When did hydro electricity power introduced in 1930? The was uh, I mean the introduction of the electricity from hydro electricity power in 1930. And availability of electricity allowed for use of oil engine for. drawing ground water this led to the both expansion of agriculture as well as increase in demand for oil engine in turn it led to the emergence of workshop emergence of workshop for servicing engine and also for addressing the demand for spare parts the boundaries began to be set up and agricultural machinery began to produce okay understand students the industrialization in the colonial period um, the cotton the cotton cultivation next one increase in trade in the port area third one the emergence of textile industries led to the demand and demand and starting the textile machinery industries in the region okay next one post independence to early 1990s soon after independence several large enterprises were set up by both the central and state government in different segments such as integral coach factory in chennai when uh, where is where is uh, where was the integral coach factory established on uh, post independence period in chennai integral coach factory established in chennai it made railway coaches and the bharat heavy electrical limited in trichrapalli manufactured to boilers and turbines which industry manufactured to boilers and turbines bharat heavy electrical limited manufactured the boilers and uh, turbines the bharat heavy electrical limited in turn led the emergence of an industrial clusters of several small firms and catering of its input requirements heavy vehicle factory was 
set up the manufacture tanks in already on outskirts of chennai i mean the tank or manufacturing tanks in avadi i mean the heavy vehicle factory established in avadi heavy vehicle factory established in avadi the standard motors two started manufacturing cars in chennai the standard motors two started manufacturing cars in chennai asok playland and the standard motor together helped from an automobile clusters in chennai i mean the standard motors and the asok playland and the standard motors together helped from helped form an automobile clusters in chennai region okay the avadi industrial estate was established in the 1950 when did avadi industrial estate was established in 1950 the avadi industrial estate was established in the 1950 it support the small and medium companies supplying to the large firm in the region more hydro electric power project in the state were also initiated to increase the spread of electrification the government played a major role all this process the salem steel plant was set up 1973 when did salem steel plant was set up it 1973 The Salem steel plant produces stainless steel. The Salem steel plant produces stainless steel. In the 1970 and 1980s, saw the setting up of emergence of power loom weaving clusters in Coimbatore region. In 1970s and 80s, we saw. the setting up of emergence of power loom weaving clusters in the coimbatore region as well as expansion of cotton knitwear clusters in tripur where was the cotton knitwear clusters established in tripur and the home furnishing clusters established in karur home furnishing clusters established in karur This period also saw more encouragement of the small and medium sector with setting up of industrial estate by the state government in different parts. The Hosur industrial cluster is a successful cause of how such policy efforts to promote industrial estate help to develop the industries in a backward region okay students the important points of this topic the first one industrial clusters the industrial clubs or clusters means the group of form in the defined geographical area that share the common markets technologies and skill requirement and a how do clusters originate the clusters may arise due to many factors certain clusters evolve over a long time in historic history when artisans settle in one locality and evolve over centuries and a government may decide to encourage the manufacturing using raw materials from a region which may also lead the emergence of the clusters next one the historical development of industrialization in tamil nadu the lot of evidence for presence of industrial activities such as textile ship building iron and steel making and pottery and pre colonial tamil nadu next industrialization in the colonial period there are two sets of factors have contributed to the process of process 
the introduction of the cotton cultivation and west and and southern area second one increase in trade during this period led to the industrial development around the chennai and two degree port areas post independence to early 1919s the soon after independence several large enterprises were set up by both and central and state government in different regions in 1970 and 80 saw setting up of emergence of power loom weaving clusters in the coimbatore region okay students thank you for watching